Now, throughout the decades, we have had some really awesome time machines. Some great, some awesome, but there's one true time machine that really lasted the test of time. What's up you guys? This is Sentai22 here with my very first Doctor Who review for you. And today I'll be checking out the flight control TARDIS toy. Now TARDIS stands for Time and Relative Dimension in Space. Basically it's the Doctor's spaceship and time machine where he can travel to the depths of the universe as well as going through different points in time. Uh, some say he can travel uh, in different uh, alternate universes or parallel universes. The Doctor, who is a Time Lord, I don't know how old is he, 800, 900, can regenerate himself into different uh, people, uh, which begs the question, since he's already in his 12th regeneration, does he really die in his 12th regeneration? Time, time Lords have this law, basically it says that you can you know you can only have 12 regenerations but since the time lords are all gone he can pretty much do this infinitively although I'm not really sure but since the BBC wants to keep this show running for a long time I really doubt that there's a limit I really doubt that there's a limit so um, I've been a big fan of Doctor Who for a year I am definitely loving the series I've been watching the 1970s one with uh, Tom Baker one of the funniest doctors that I've ever seen really awesome um, I saw the revived one uh, this the, the revived 2005 series this year the one with uh, Christopher Eccleston uh, it's kind of a shame really he only did it for a year I wish he would have continued to do more um, more uh, series but it's a shame really he just wanted to move on um, to do other things but definitely I'm definitely liking uh, David Tennant, uh, one of my my personal favorites. I'm definitely getting used to. Uh, I'm not really uh, into Matt Smith, but hopefully, little by little, as I watch the current one, uh, we'll definitely like that Doctor as well. But right now, I'm sticking to the classics. So, all right, now let's take a look at the TARDIS. As you can see, it is disguised as a police, a now defunct police public call box now these were very commonplace in the 1920s throughout the 1960s in Britain um, these were basically for you know policemen to go inside and catch a break and whatnot um, until the invention of walkie-talkies and other electronic devices they didn't really need this anymore so uh, this was, you know, at that time, this was just a commonplace. So they picked this as the uh, as the spaceship, so they could blend in with the environment. But not anymore, really, because these things don't really don't really exist in Britain today. But uh, yeah, I mean, just because it's a public call box doesn't mean that uh, the police can only use it. Public. The public in Britain can also use it in cases of an emergencies, which is very detailed in the toy. If you open this, you actually see the uh, call, uh, the uh, telephone in there. Really, really cool. I like that they added this in there. I believe, uh, I believe a few doctors uh, used this phone a few times in the series. I'm not really sure. I really have to watch more of the uh, classic Doctor Who stuff. So. Now, besides being small on the outside, it's very big on the inside. I have to say, the best interior of the TARDIS has to be the made-for-TV movie, uh, the one with Paul McCann. I mean, if you go inside, it kind of looks like a mansion. I mean, it's kind of a shame they never really integrated it with the new series, but I have to say that he had a better interior than the other interiors from the previous and the current one so 
All right, so you can see, really awesome. Um, show you guys the lights and sounds. Just go down here and put, turn on the switch. Press this button. Making the, the TARDIS noise, the famous TARDIS sound effect. One thing cool about this is that there's like this special little um, little thing right here in the bottom where you just put your finger there and just put this and you turn it like this. And also you'll notice is the lantern, really awesome, really nice. Now one thing cool about this is when you open the uh, doors, it makes this really awesome noise. Now when you close it, really really nice. And if you leave it like that, it pretty much becomes stationary. The lamp stays on. Now I know there are different versions of the flight control TARDIS. Um, there's the first TARDIS, which is which which is more resembled to the likeness of the police boxes at that time. It came with the first Doctor figure, and there's the one. Then there's another version uh, with uh, the uh, with the glowing uh, lights in the window. Um, but that one's a little bit more expensive. I recommend getting this one because uh, this one's a little bit more affordable. I bought this for like uh, 17 bucks uh, plus shipping, which was eight. Uh, with shipping was around eight dollars. Um, so definitely a good deal. I definitely recommend getting this one, um, even if it doesn't have the lights in the windows. It's still pretty cool. Now, the only downside I have to say about this toy is that when you try to open, when you try to close the door, for example, it is very difficult to try to close both both doors. I mean, I don't know what this button does here in the bottom, but I try to close it, and it's no no use. You just have to make sure that your fingers don't. There you go. So that's all I have to say. I wish there was like a button mechanism to release the doors once you don't use them. So, all right, guys, that's about it. Hope you guys enjoyed my review. Please, you guys, if you want, subscribe. And here's the common question of the day: uh, Which of which is your favorite doctor? So write them, write them in the comment section below. This is Sentai Twenty Two, and uh, thanks for watching.